fall is here, which means the cold is here, which means it's time to start layering. So today I'm at Walmart to try on all of the jackets that they have in my store. If you're new to my channel, I just wanted to say hi, I'm Kathy. I'm really glad that you're here. I hope you will stick around and subscribe. But for now, let's head into Walmart and try on all the jackets. There were a lot of different styles of jackets in my store, definitely some unique ones also. So first I grabbed this pink faux Sherpa jacket. It's darker pink with some light pink accents in the trim and the side pockets. It has a zippered chest pocket as well. It has kind of like a half collar and I tried this one on in a size small and it was $29.98. I love how this one is two-toned. It adds dimension to the jacket. It's a pretty normal length, meaning it's not really cropped, but it's not particularly long either. I I see this jacket being great with what I'm actually wearing under it today, jeans and a t-shirt. I think it just wouldn't look right with a dressier outfit, but let me know what you think. And this jacket does come in some other colors. Wow, look at that one. You can't see me, but I'm cringing. The rest of these aren't too bad though. Next, I grabbed this tan quilted jacket. It has these big pockets in the front that close with a button. The quilting is in the shape of an onion and it has a stand collar. And I tried this one on in a size medium and it was $44.98. I initially thought that this one was on the pricier side to it's Walmart, but I actually do think that the quality of this one is really good. It felt very well made and I just love the quilting. It adds more interest. The sleeves were a good length for me, which I always like. And I think this one would work well for casual outfits, but I also think it could work with the right dress or skirt underneath it as well. So lots of options there. It did feel slightly oversized. So if you're between sizes, I would size down. And if you'd rather have a more statement jacket rather than the neutral, this jacket also comes in some brighter colors. Well, minus the black. This next jacket was interesting. It's this navy blue quilted puffy jacket. It has two big pockets in the front and it closes with buttons in the front as well. I tried it on in a size small and it was $24.98. So I'll just say it, this is not my style. I don't know why the style is just giving me like old lady vibes, but it's also mixed with that light puffy fabric, which is just weird to me. The length is ever so slightly cropped and I thought it did fit correctly size wise. I'm just not a fan of it personally for me, but for anyone out there who does like it, I'm happy for you and it also comes in green. The colors of this next jacket really caught my eye in the store. It has these toggle closures in the front with a zipper underneath. It's this multicolored plaid, there's a zipper and it also has a hood. The back of this has like a pleat in it. I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but it kind of has extra fabric. And I tried this on in a size small and it was $44.98. This one does have a harder shell or exterior to it, which is nice, especially if it's windy or rainy outside. And the hood would obviously help with that too. The toggle closures remind me of like, old raincoats, but I think this one being slightly cropped makes it a little more modern for now, which is great. The hood is nice and also very practical, again, in those windy or rainy situations. And I also thought that this multicolored plaid makes it really fun, but they also have this jacket in these beautiful jewel tones and in black as well. Another one that sparked my eye because of the pattern is this floral puffy jacket. It's this pink, brown, and white floral on a black background. The zipper is black as well, and I tried this one on in a size medium, and it was 24 98. I thought this one was really cute, especially the floral pattern. I think it's really unique, especially for a jacket. It is slightly cropped, which is definitely trendy right now. It felt like pretty good quality, especially for it being only $25. Here's the floral a little bit closer. I just love this combination of colors and it also comes in a ton of other colors, some of which were very unique, like this leathery looking one or this gold one. And one of my other favorites was this two-tone neutral one. The next jacket I found is this gray jacket. It's this gray, almost like tie-dye pattern with this dark gray squares on top. And then it's also quilted on top of that. It has a slightly rounded collar and I tried this one on in a size small and it was $27.98. This one kind of has a lot going on looks wise, but I do like it. I also really like the cut of it. It's slightly longer in the back and it hit right at the bottom of my butt. The only thing I thought was weird about this one was that the cuff of the sleeves were really tight. Like it was difficult to get my hand through it that, that tight. But besides that, I did really like it. And there's also a blue version. The last jacket I grabbed was this tan quilted jacket. It is slightly puffy and it has pockets in the front. It has snap closure in the front, not a zipper on this one. And I tried this one on in a size small and it was $44.98. This one is the longest out of any that I tried today. It hit near the middle of my thigh and it's the same length in the front as it is in the back, but it does have those curves 
curved slits in the sides. I like the quilting and how it's slightly puffy, but not too puffy. It's still a pretty lightweight jacket, I would say. And this one also comes in a mix of bright and darker colors. Walmart definitely had some unique jackets, especially in terms of the patterns. If you wanna check out any of the jackets that I tried on today, I'll be sure to link all of them down below in the description for you guys. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. If you wanna see more videos from me and you are not subscribed, I would love it if you would hit that big red subscribe button down below. But that is all for this video. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.